Okay, YouTube, um, i just like to do a video on my Epiphone Les Paul Custom. And as you can see, it's got open coil humbuckers in it. And this is a Korean Custom made in the early 2000s uh, in the unsung factory and <clears throat> basically I bought the guitar second hand uh, it had a black uh, switch tip I've changed it to cream just because back in the 50s they had like a cream switch tip on the customs uh, and I thought it looked cool especially with the white as the white ages it will eventually go to cream and it also fits the cream binding um, yeah I like the, the gold hardware I like customs yeah but what attracted me to this guitar is the white uh, the white is beautiful um, you don't see many white ones uh, they're mainly black or cherry sunburst um, but yeah this was um, on Facebook and it was local uh, to me um, and the guy said that uh, he needed a lot doing to it um, but the only thing which it did have a problem with was the three-way switch um, but generally I think the guy was just having a clear out and you know it wasn't being played and to be honest for its age it's it's not really aged um, so it's not really been not really been played so I brought it and I could see it was a good guitar from the go the frets were really good um, even though the guy said it needed setting up really really you know a lot anyway so yeah it's um, I by the way, I took this scratch plate off just because it looks cool. Just because I've got the um, the Sex Pistols uh, look on it, you know, it looks rock and roll, doesn't it? So um, yeah, I'm pleased with it anyway. Um, but originally, it did come with the <clears throat> the Epiphone pickups, um, which are not not great, but they. You know they did the job you know it did sound not too bad but but when i took it to band practice and played with my band i could really tell the difference you know muddy muddy sounding um anyway so i, I thought i'd go all out with this guitar um it was a it was a steal um so what i did i bought some new electronics new pots uh I got treble bleed as well with the kit. It was like a full, it was like a, a Gibson Epiphone kit, uh, which you can put in your guitars off eBay. Wasn't expensive, but it had all the treble bleed and stuff like that. I just wanted to try all that just to see if it helps with the sound. Um, and I also found in really good condition, and they were like new uh, on eBay, I found some Gibson pickups because um, I knew I wanted to replace the pickups and the pickups were absolutely a really good deal. Basically to buy them new uh, they're really expensive but these come out of um, a Gibson Explorer. 2016 so I snapped him up the guy obviously was just decided he wanted something else or or, or the guitar was no good either way uh, they were like new I bought them uh, proper Gibson pickups so that's a uh, four a Gibson 496 and T in the neck um, please help me uh, with the comments below if that's not right and then this is a 500T in the bridge 
Anyway, enough talking. Let's hear it. I've got a bit of dirt, a bit of like overdrive, like a, a bit of like tube screamer type effect on the amp, uh, which is a Fender Mustang amp. Anyway, I'm I'm really really happy with the sound and the result of how this guitar sounds now, and also how it plays because it's been set up as well properly with 11s, um, low action. Um, I just think it looks cool like this without a scratch plate, so I've left it. So that's the neck pickup with a bit of dirt. So this is the middle pickup. All, all uh, pots are, you know, on full. pick up pickup as well. Yeah. See it really really sings well. Anyway, so yeah let's just let's just do a jam and obviously from the local music shop the only one in Leicester. I got some uh, Charvel uh, strap locks, German made strap locks. Uh, yeah, so all good quality stuff, really. Because uh, it is a good quality guitar, and the Chinese ones, um, in my opinion, are not as built as nice as this. But yeah, a really, really nice guitar. 